You're probably familiar with the life-saving drug naloxone. These kits are being distributed in cities right across Canada, but the ones being given out by Halton Healthcare come with these test strips here. This after doctors began to notice patients were presenting at the hospital with severe symptoms. These are test strips to let people know what is in their supply. These test strips can be used to detect a medication used to treat livestock. Xylazine, commonly known as horse tranquilizer, is making the opioid overdose crisis more severe. Because xylazine has been so destructive in the States that, that it's causing so many problems with skin damage, with overdoses, with adverse reactions. According to Toronto's drug checking service, recent results of samples checked showed 19% of expected fentanyl samples contained xylazine. The sedative mixed with an opioid comes with a higher risk of death and symptoms Halton Healthcare began seeing months ago. I've seen patients with huge ulcers and loss of limb and loss of huge amounts of skin or skin grafts that looking back you start to scratch your head and say how long has this drug been around and have we been seeing the sequelae of it for a long time without knowing what we were seeing. Why would anybody want to add that to any drug? It's going to be able to cut your supply and be able to uh, use less fentanyl while selling it to people so I think predominantly this is a business decision. The hospitals say they've been seeing more difficult overdoses, saying there is no drug that can reverse the effects of xylazine. This may not be something that responds easily to just naloxone alone. Um, it may be more complicated. Which is why Halton Health says arming consumers with these easy to use test strips can be life saving. They say they're one of the first to do so in Ontario. And essentially what we're asking people to do is dissolve as much of their supply as they're comfortable using, up ideally five to 10 milligrams in a little bit of water. They dip the stick in and within about 60 seconds, it will tell them if their supply is contaminated. How receptive are people when you're handing them? I, I was really surprised when we started doing it, how many people knew exactly what I was talking about when I brought it up. Um, certainly it's been new to us at HHS over the last couple of months. Ultimately, it is up to the user to decide what to do after testing their samples. But Halton Health hopes the test strips empower and educate people, young and old. The youngest patients we've seen with significant opioid you know, addictions, including fentanyl, have been 16, 15, you know, all the way through uh, our oldest are probably in their 80s. Wow. And from a rich, you know, wide variety of socioeconomic backgrounds. For City News, I'm Faiza Amin.